Hey guys, it's Heath with Pork Barrel Barbecue and Barbecue Backyard, live from Washington, D.C. at the 20th Annual Safeway National Capital Barbecue Battle, and we are in for a treat today. We are with the godfather of barbecue, one of the legends of barbecue, a soon-to-be inductee into the National Barbecue Hall of Fame in Kansas City, Mr. Johnny Trigg. Johnny, how you doing, buddy? I'm fine, thank you. Welcome to... Uh, now, how many years have you been out on the, the trail competing? Uh... About 23, 23 years. So you've got, how, do, you, do you even know how many contests you've cooked? I don't have any idea. Over a thousand? Oh, yeah. So you got, you've got a lot of cooks under your belt. We have a lot of guys on Barbecue Backyard who are backyard barbecuers thinking, how do I go from you know a backyard cook every couple weeks to coming out here? Do you have any tips that you would give somebody that wants to do this? Well, the main thing is uh, throw your hat in the ring and get out of here. That's how you're going to learn. You're not going to learn cooking at home. Uh, the way you're going to learn is go to a contest. Don't be embarrassed before you finish. You might be surprised. Uh, you may get a call or two. And uh, uh, so it's the best way to go so ahead and ring, get out of the competition, and come out. Do you have a favorite category to cook? No. Uh, everybody thinks it's ribs. I've done very well in ribs in my career. But I've done good in brisket. The only one I guess that killed me the worst was pork. Yeah. One of my background in Texas, uh, we're beef steak, and primarily we the, the contest down there, which I did in my early career, we don't have pork. Now I gotta ask you about your pit. Uh, you cook on a jambo pit. What uh, What do you think about those things? I mean, I, there's lots of great teams cooking with them, and it always seems like they're uh, towards the top. Is there well, something special about them? I think so, because I'm very prejudiced. I've been cooking on one since 1993. And uh, I'm into my third one. I've, had, I've got two right now. They're both 10 years old. I've got another one over order. Uh, mainly to have, uh, have a little more capacity, because I teach classes. And I need, it, I need more capacity than I could have for Speaking of your classes, you know, it's a great way if you are wanting to get into this to learn from one of the legends. How can they find out where your classes are going to be and uh, when they are? Well, the main thing, I don't have a web page. Uh, it's Rod called it, I'm an old school. And the only reason I've got a computer for most of the contests required me to have it. Uh, I fought it, fought it, fought it. So, uh, but the best thing is, I run a quarter page ad in the Kansas City Bowl sheet. If they're not a member of Kansas City, they can still look it up on the internet right there and get on their web, uh, website, click on the classes and find out about it. One last question I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about how has barbecue pit masters kind of changed your life out on the competition trail? It's uh, barbecue pit masters, it, it all actually started with uh, John Marcus in uh, 2005. Uh, he had a Barbecue uh, show on uh, the Versus Neck called Barbecue All Star. And he approached me and Chris Letty, he and Chris Letty were partner up to put this on. And uh, I turned it down. I wouldn't do it. But he couldn't use my pet, couldn't use my rub. And I didn't know what you going to be cooking. And I said, hell with it, I ain't doing that. And so the next year, uh, they came up with another one. And it was in Reno, Nevada right in the front door of the uh, Golden Nugget. And it was, you could take your bed, you could use your rug. So John asked me again right there and I accepted. And, and then uh, the pit masters came along in 09 for a few pit masters. And uh, we had a ball doing it, we were trapping the contest. And then in 10, 2010, we went to California. We kind of went back to the old format that John did. Uh, uh, the public did, said they didn't like it. Uh, they liked us going to shows. I mean, contests right there, but the ratings were much higher. Even if they didn't like it, they still watch the show. And so it came back this year, and uh, we're just about to finish up. Uh, we got uh, tonight they're showing the uh, fifth episode, which is the final one. And then next week it'll be the final. The five the five uh, pit masters that won their, their episode will be going head to head. And we'll be seeing you on that episode. I absolutely. I, I, I can say that. But, uh, 
that's as far as I go. I can't tell you anything about the finals. Uh, all I can say is there is, any pork belly in the finals? Uh, I hope so. I know how to do it now. <laughs> Well, it looked, I tell you that turkey you cooked looked outstanding. Uh, that's what pulled me through. But after it was over with, the three judges told me my my pork belly uh, had the best flavor of the three. So yeah, but it, it wasn't cooked properly. Uh, well, I gave all credit to Mama because she figured it out she what did. it was. She did. It looks like bacon. I said, I looked at it. I said, of course. So. Of course, Chris Hart. I, I was pulling his chain. I went out and said. Chris, would you help me tell me what I do when you say no? But, uh, but you know, we had a lot of fun. Uh, that was a great episode. Uh, between the, all you guys, that was three Jack Daniels championships right there. That's, uh, you know, Chris is with uh, IQ and you're two. That's, that's yeah, a pretty outstanding. Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, the, I'm the only one that won the Jack uh, twice. It's going to be broken, but so far it has. Chris is one of the But it was a, the Big Master was a great show. This year we showed more, more techniques and more recipes than we had in the past. Yeah. Uh, people can can learn a lot. Well, I know from sitting uh, next to you this weekend uh, at Tuffy and Myron that there's a lot of Pitmasters fans out there. I, I think you guys uh, shook a lot of hands and, and uh, took a lot of photos. And I, the only thing I can say is thank you because that just helps the, the sport of barbecue continue. Everywhere we go, we get we get swamped pictures right there, and uh, I've had policemen pull me over, and I thought, what did I do wrong, and they wanted to order around, they wanted a picture or something like that, so you never know. They warned us day one, uh, when we started pit matching in 2009, that uh, our life has changed. They said, you're going to be recognized, and you're going to be able to go out to dinner, or somebody walk, walk to you, or whatever, and I didn't believe it. Take me home. That. Well, Johnny, thanks for coming to D.C. Okay, it's buddy. been an honor to, uh, to be your neighbor okay. this weekend, and uh, good luck. Uh, hopefully we'll hear your name called uh, four or five times this afternoon. Oh, I hope so. Okay. All right, guys. Tune in to, uh, to Barbecue Backyard for all the, the latest and greatest barbecue and interviews with awesome uh, legends like Johnny Trick.